Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. A person named Eve, good morning Eve, asked me to check out the Silver Leaf Senior Apartments right here on Rattlesnake Point Road. There's Hoots Country Kitchen on the right. We've done videos from there. And Rattlesnake Point Road has been under construction. Okay. So we're going to make a right here. I was giving the Mr. Roder Rooter guy the sign of, go ahead, sir. <laughs> we'll be taking the detour here. It's going to rain today, guys. We made a little uh, side trip on our way to Port Aransas. Kind of backtracked a little to get over to here. And tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny. So I think that will be a great day to go to Port Aransas. Hopefully some of the rain that's hitting us here in Rockport is getting to Port Aransas and will make the beach more drivable. That's what I'm hoping for. We've been down this little detour before. Now this Silver Leaf Apartments, I wasn't familiar with it. And it came up on uh, Apple Maps, but the picture is just an empty field. So I would imagine it's fairly new construction. And if they have a website, I will put a link in the description of this video. But uh, Eve was considering moving to Rockport. Let me give the windshield a little swish there. And uh, she asked me to swing by, check it out, see if it was a possibility. And that's always good to do. You can look online and see all the photos you want, but when those companies put out photos, they're doing it from the best possible angles. Now, if it wasn't for the detour, we'd be there by now. <laughs> I kind of like this detour. This is the road where we have have uh, spotted goats in the past. We've had goat sightings. So I believe this is Salt Lake Road. Hopefully there'll be a street sign here. No, 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 no. Yeah, guys, it's uh, 76 degrees. Yep, Salt Lake Road. 76 degrees at 8.18 a.m. That's got to be it right there, those buildings on the right. So I don't know if this is like assisted living. My grandmother up in Maine lived in this really nice. She was real happy there. Assisted living. You had your own kind of one big bedroom apartment with, um, is this it? This has to be it, right? I think a sign would help. Is this it or is it down further? I think this is it. <laughs> Let's see if it curves around. Notice. Security cameras. Okay, we like that. Um, she had one big room, had her own kitchen, had her own bathroom. Bathroom, of course, a little separate room. But when you went out her front door, you were in like a big community room where, you know, if you wanted to, you could leave your little apartment. It was a good size, actually. And they had tables and chairs for games and little conversation areas with sofas and chairs and several uh, big TVs. Well, as big as TVs got in, you know, uh, the 1970s was when I was up there. When uh, 1978, I'm guessing, is when I visited her at that home. And uh, I didn't know my grandmother like I knew my Nana, but um, once or twice a week, I would uh, borrow my stepbrother's bike. And I guess I was kind of made to do this by my dad. 
but I actually didn't mind it. Uh, rode the bike a few miles to go visit um, my grandmother. And it was nice. We had good visits and got to know her a little bit. I remember visiting her and her husband, um, Vern. Uh, my grandmother's name was Alice on my dad's side. In Philadelphia, might have been Upper Darby, but I think it was Philadelphia. It was right on that border. And um, is this an assisted living home? Or it's not assisted living. It's like 55 and over. This has to be it, but I don't see a sign. Hmm. It'd be funny if I did all this yapping and it's not even the right place. He was a uh, maintenance man for the apartment complex and it was a pretty tall building and he had an apartment in the basement like when you look out his windows you would see people's feet so I'm thinking it was in uh, West Philadelphia well I still don't see a sign maybe this other exit here will have a sign and we'll see what's going on we might hit some wind up here guys this has to be it. I might drive through it. There's a sign up here. It has to be. It's the only thing at this intersection. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Silver Leaf, Rockport, Texas senior living community I like it you know what let's um let's get off the road in case a car is coming let's just take one drive through it with the camera pointed straight ahead you can see it's right out in the it's out in the boonies which I actually like who doesn't like the boonies and you're probably eight nine minutes from the Walmart and uh, I guess that's the office right there, guys. They're closed right now. I love my backup camera. So I would imagine it would be like 55 plus maybe to live here. Senior living. I see some back porches over there. Or is that just a front porch and another apartment around the back? I'm sure they have to have a, a website. There's someone sitting out, getting a little morning air, having a smoke. <laughs> I see some American flags on the left, so that's good. Some bicycles Texas flag up ahead this is nice yeah you're probably 10 12 minutes from the HEB 12 15 minutes from Rockport Beach you're uh, you can get up on the highway in five minutes if you're heading towards Corpus or Portland or any other destination within driving distance <laughs> They look pretty fill. Apparently they've been here a while. They look lived in. It's really nice, quiet. Except for that guy from YouTube going around uh, filming. I do like this field. Oh, yappy yappy. I did see a funny meme. Ooh, that looks pretty right there. Nothing with the house. Hold on, kids. There's your postcard. <laughs> I saw a funny meme. Uh, it's, it had a little nervous dog. And it said, uh, it was for the 4th of July fireworks. And it said, all of a sudden, this yappy little bastard is afraid of loud noises. <laughs> Where's the goat? Wake up, goat. Well, Eve, 
there it is. Make your decisions. Any of you people that are 54, you got something to look forward to, guys? Check the uh, description of this video, and I'll throw a link in. Now, if we make a right, we're going to hit the... Uh, well, you know what? We can end the video down there. Let's go down and check out the dead end, the construction ahead. Well, now we know the Roto-Rooter guy lives on the left there. Where the house on the left is getting services from Roto-Rooter. I thought that was music at first playing, and then I realized it's Roto-Rooter suction. Oh, construction equipment. And right down here is the uh, Salt Lake Church. Trailer park over there. This construction will be done in... 12, 15 years, so it shouldn't be a, a major inconvenience for you. This is the side of Salt Lake Church. There's the Salt Lake Baptist Church sign, and there's where the construction guys are hanging out. All right, guys, that's it. Silverleaf Senior Living Community. Thanks for riding along today. Thanks for watching.